good day as the 276 here back with another DCS tutorial video today we're going to talk about the description.lua file this file is key to everything to do with skins the in-game skins your custom skins any skins even some of the in-game assets need skins so last the uh, last episode we talked about the DDS exporter and some of the settings to do with that. Uh, we're going to touch on some other common themes, particularly around bought numbers in the description.lua because there are a lot of issues that can uh, come from uh, bought numbers <coughs> within the description.lua file. So we'll touch on that. First of all, let's have a look at a lua file. Here I'm using uh, Notepad++ with uh, some markup for lua. Now, the first field here, that is what the model calls that particular part of the unwrap from the 3D modeling. This you cannot change. Do not ever change this, it will never work. So that's your first, oh sorry, first of all, start off with delivery. So that's your function for delivery. Uh, this next field here is uh, the level or the channel uh, zero there is a diffuse channel if it's a one it's a normal map I've got none here I'll show you that later number two is a specular map it's using a few of the older models it's the way they used to do shininess before they use physics based rendering so you may see it on some of the older models that are out there Channel 3 is for decals, or it's called decals. So they, they, they could be named or they could have numbers, but decals come under decal. This is where most of the bought numbers come in. Dirt is on level 4, damage is 5, puddles is 6, snow is 7, self elimination is 8, ambient occlusions on 9, which aren't used anymore since 2.5, uh, damage again on 10. Uh, 11 and 12 are not used. 13 is your roughness metallic from 2.5 onwards. It contains the ambient occlusion, roughness and the metallic maps. 14 is for opacity for glass and stuff like that. Most of that we don't have to worry about. Uh, the most common ones you'll deal with is 0 for your diffuse. 2 for spec maps, 13 for your rough mets depending on the age of the model, and 3 for decals. So we'll talk about essentially 0 and 3 today. So to get description.lua files, uh, the best place is just into deliveries of different aircraft. To get the uh, description.lua, this is a VMA211. So they've got some skins in here and you can copy and paste this out. If there is a model which doesn't have any custom skins yet or isn't that great uh, or there's not enough uh, detail in them because uh, when you look in here so for instance this is a VMA 211 uh, there's not much there. Go into the uh, Mirage 2000 there's a fair bit there this is the F-18C, there's a fair bit there, and the like. So there, there may be a skin that's not available to you straight away. Uh, the best thing you can do for that is to use the model viewer to extract everything. So that's an F-18C that comes with one of the skins I copied. It's a Canadian 409, and that's the one I extracted with the model view and you see these are all named diffuse normal map specular like it's it's called specular but it's also for rough met if you look at the file there so there's that so that's what this second field is for third field is the file name of the the texture that you want don't need to put in the .dds or anything like that, you just need to put in the file name in inverted commas. The last field 
it tells the game where to look for that particular skin. So for these ones, because they're actually placed in the folder itself where the description.lure is, for instance, when we look at VMA11, you've got T1, T2, T3, and numbers. If it's a false, it's in that directory where the description.lure is. If it's a true, it means it's in the game root directory. So you can select different in-game root directory textures if they meet your needs and you would put make sure that they're true. You'll notice when I extract them, they're all false. So I would actually probably change all these to true because all these file names here will be in the game directories. Because this is direct, uh, extracted directly off the model itself, it sets it to false. So generate that file that has all the levels and all the skins applicable to a particular model in your model viewer, which is in the bin directory of your game. You can click on this icon called generate livery file, or you can press shift, control, alt, and G. This will ask you where you want to save that livery file to. So you can save it to your desktop. Save it as description.law or whatever you want and save it there. Put it on my desktop because I can do that. So it's essentially the same file there. And this is what it gets you. Picks up all the skins and everything that is applicable to that particular model and spits it out into this file. There are a few things that are missing in this description.lua file at the bottom here. You don't need to do it, but you can add name and countries. So country list uh, basically restricts that particular skin to that particular country. So in this case, it's France. Uh, in this one, you could say it's USA, but that's been commented out. So it's actually available. Every country can actually select that skin. But if you want to restrict your skin to a particular country, then uh, make sure that is filled out like that country is equals USA and then only the USA will be able to see it. Name, not 100% important, clearly, <coughs> excuse me. There's some skins that don't have a name, but this name comes up in the mission editor in the game. So if you want to make it a I would actually, I highly recommend you add a name in and so that you can identify it within the game itself. The folder name here is what you see when you open up uh, the liveries plugin. So this is the actual folder name here for all those particular skins. So that's the livery name, it's, is that's the, your directory name and when you put a name in the description.law it comes up in game in the mission editor so it's nice and easy to find. So some important points to note with uh, these description.livery, the description.lua files is the file names. You have to match exactly what is in the folder. So these can be anything you want. This one you can't change, that front one you can't change, this one you can make it whatever you want, it does not matter. As long as that is false, and you have that file in the in the file in the directory with the description.law file, it will pick that file up. If that file name is incorrect, it will not. I'd also recommend not using spaces, but because they're in inverted commas, it shouldn't matter. Rough mets. Again, you can change rough mets if you want. That's true because it's telling it to look into the uh, game base directories. Bought numbers. Now, a lot of issues I see are around bought numbers. If there is a bought number, it has to be in this file. Otherwise, it will not render very well. It'll pick up the default. So when you've extracted uh, this file from the model, anything you're happy with what the default is and you don't intend to change it, 
uh, delete it. So if you're not going to change the glass, diffuse, specular, uh, normal maps, if you're not going to change them, get rid of them. Otherwise, you have to change that to true for each one of those you keep in this file. So if you're not going to use them, get rid of them. Except for the bought numbers. Like I just said, if you delete it, it'll use the default one. So if you don't, if you take these ones out, it'll you'll use the default bought numbers for all these locations. So you'll get a plane which has got bought numbers all over it. So you need to keep these bought numbers in here and change the decal. So I'll switch back to, to this one here. Change the decal, if you're not going to use that particular location, to empty. Otherwise, it will try to render something. Another, tip, another thing with the board numbers is this zero. So, so remember that's decal. So that is the decal layer, decal channel. Zero, that is your diffuse channel. This file here, it will be the same as that file there. So you need to make sure when you pick up the nose, so the F18C1, the nose is this this file here, and then all your board numbers should have that in your channel zero. What that does is it picks up on that particular part of the skin and recreates it under the number. And I'll show you that later. As you can see, I've got some uh, commented lines out here for to, to demonstrate for you. And again, if you're not using that decal, just make it empty. Otherwise, you put in the decal uh, file name in there. And there is a particular way these need to be set up. So if you want to change the font or whatever, you have to actually pick that up. And I touched that on that on my previous video. So unfortunately, the Hornet has a lot of bought numbers. You got QA, Finland, Switzerland, Australia, locations for every operator of the Hornet, they have them all in a different spot. So they, they're all in here, most of them are empty and that's fine, keep them like that. Otherwise you'll get uh, rendering errors. Uh, when you come down here, the pilot, that's true, true, so that's picking up on the in-game versions of all those, but then you can also change the patch for your pilot right, right there. So I've made a couple of errors in here, so and this is the most common thing I've seen people complaining about is their bought numbers not working. You gotta remember, you gotta have you gotta have that string in there. It has to be there, otherwise it won't pick it up. The name has to be correct. I changed that name to a one. It has to be correct, otherwise it will cause an issue. This one I've changed the name uh, name for the skin itself so uh, I got the skin the, the wrong file name in uh, the diffuse layer there but I've left that correct and this one I've left out the actual bought number itself instead of changing the name of it I'll show you what that does on this unsuspecting hornet Look at that. So you can see this one here. I got the file name wrong for the bought number. So that bought number, the file name is wrong. Regardless of this being here or not, the bought number is wrong. So it just having the bought number having the wrong file name it just causes this issue right if for instance you have the right uh, bought number but you get the diffuse layer incorrect it causes this issue so you still get the number there but it picks up on a non file so it just gives you this um, hexagonal texture for the background so this one's got the diffuse layer is correct so it matches the lines and all that sort of stuff but 
I didn't put that number in. So essentially this is, I've commented out, so this is akin to deleting this line. I only commented it out so I can just delete the comments later and uh, not destroy anything. But it's picked up on the base game, or the default bought number for that particular slot. Uh, you'll notice here you got the 100, 10 and 0, 1. So that's your 100, 10, 0, 1. And that's how pretty much bought numbers work and how they're addressed in Lua file. And I made some on the AV8B. So let's go have a look at the AV8B. Not as obvious. So it's tail, so I missed it. It's both. So luckily the default is the same, but you see what happens is the actual background is not the the right so where the where the number would be the transparency the transparency is what they shove the diffuse layer into for this particular spot on the aircraft and this one uh, missed it out that's why it's a different slightly different shade so if you get this uh, shading issue check your diffuse layer is is there well I think that's about it we can talk about uh, the description.lua files there's not really that much to them there's just some key rules that you need to keep in mind uh, one of them is your file names make sure they're correct uh, second one is when you're working with bought numbers all the bought numbers have to be in the description.lua file even if you don't use them if you don't use them call them empty otherwise they will cause issues I suggest, highly recommend you name your skin in the name equals at the bottom of the livery file. You can add countries if you wish to restrict uh, which countries they are assigned to or are selectable from. And you can use Model Viewer to export all the skins and maps. Normal maps, diffuse maps, damage maps, decal maps, everything out of the model itself and ensure you delete what you don't need. So we don't need to change the flame for that one, so you delete those lines. Or you could comment them out if you wish to, but yeah, I wouldn't bother. And they will use the default uh, images for those. Just remember you still need to keep in all the bought diffuse and decal layers otherwise they will cause no ends of grief especially as I have shown in and just one more time that is the designation that comes off the model itself of, of where that that particular layer is placed that is your channel so that's the diffuse specular damage or zero zero to so yeah zero is your diffuse normal is your channel one specular or rough met now is on channel two and decal is on channel three that is if file name has to be exact and false means look into the directory that it's currently in the description of the file is currently in and true is to look at the base game textures. I hope that uh, helps out. Uh, next episode we'll go into my workflow of how I test and adjust and align a few things. I'll go through some basic Photoshop techniques and creating a new skin from, from scratch using description.lures, some new skin, some new texture files and testing them in model viewer so seeing how things line up see where they are how it looks and final exporting into the game and what it looks like in game all right thanks for watching make sure you uh, hit that like button subscribe see you next time